In this video lesson, we're going to look at creating a make new table query. This is a very simple and straightforward query that takes the information from one table and based on your criteria, will make a brand new table. So let's have a look at some data. We'll look at the prospective customers table. <clears throat> and as always, have a good look at the information, see what it's about. And we can see, again, I'm focusing on the county, that we've got um, a number of potential clients in the Durham area. So what I would like to do is create a new table out of those. So it'll contain just that information. To query, so we select the query objects and then create a new query in design view and select the table that's got the records in it that we want to uh, make a new table with, in this case the prospective customers, and then add. You then select the fields that you want to go into your new table. It doesn't need to be them all. If it is, simply use the asterisk. And that brings every field down from the, from the table. But I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to delete it. I only want certain information. I'm just going to put the client's details. I'm going to put the client's telephone number and the county. Let's just have a look at our data, see how we're getting on. Yep, that's looking OK. The next thing we want to do is filter down for Durham. So I'm going to go back in and add a criteria on my county for Durham. Now in my new table, I don't actually want to use the county table. I don't need that information in the new table. So if I don't want to use it, I can just remove the tick from the show row. Oops, from the show row. And then even though I can use that field now for my filter, for my criteria, it won't actually go into the new table. OK, so I've got my data how I want it to appear without the county field in it, but it's still been um, filtered by that county field. We now need to convert this into a make table query and we select that from the query type icon and choose make table query. It asks us to um, give a name for this new table. So I'm just going to put it um, telephone contacts in Durham because I would like my sales representatives just to be able to select this table and start phoning around the people in Durham. I then choose OK. Again, you can save the query in the usual fashion so that you can use it over and over again. And many of these queries that we're looking at tend to be one-off queries. So you create them, run it, and then close it down without saving. That's perfectly fine, but you can save them. I'm now going to run this query in the usual fashion. And it says it's about to paste two rows into a new table. That sounds fine to me, so we say yes. And then let's have a look and see what we've got. There's our new table, telephone contacts in Durham. And there's the information that I need. So I can now telephone these people and see whether they want uh, any more products off us. And just to show you that on the prospective customers table, our base table that we used for this, the information is still there. We haven't removed it. We've just created a new table based on that information. So we'll quickly run through that again. We created a query in design view. We added the table that we wanted to create the new records from. Selected the fields that we wanted to work with. Converted it to a make table query. Gave the table 
a new name and then ran the query and followed that through. Make table queries. 